Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to solo mine Alephinum. In a previous video, we did pool mining. Now we're gonna focus on solo mining, and I know it could be a little bit daunting for some of the new people, but I'm gonna do my best to walk you through it. However, if you do have some insight that you can share with the community, feel free to leave it down in the comments below, and everything I'm gonna talk about in this video will be down in the description. Please excuse the interruption. Got a quick update for you guys. Updates are coming faster than I can uh, make content for it. But miningpoolstats.stream has the available pools showing now. And we can see that Wooly Pooly has entered the space. They got service throughout. Congrats to Alex and the team for getting that up and running. Additionally, even though we have pools having a majority of the net hash, not all of it is on the pools. They are still people solo mining to their full nodes, which is why the video you're currently watching still applies. So just make sure you stay up to date. Keep an eye on this. As well, the core dev for BZ Miner, good job to them for keeping updates rolling out. Uh, the miner is a lot more stable, and even though we're still getting a few rejected shares, uh, they are definitely a lot better since day of launch. Additionally, I will have a future video on how to mine Alephinum on Wooly Pooly, so make sure you get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, and let's get back to our original video. So, first off, the full node wiki, you're going to need to go to that. It will be down in the description, as I mentioned. Um, and we're going to need this Java file or JAR file, Alephinum, uh, hyphen 1.2.0 dot JAR. You can left click, right click, whatever, GitHub release. It's going to take you to this page. And then when you scroll down, you just need this file right here. Now, they do have the Java version wallet, but I just get the regular one if I want a single address. And then for full node, we're going to go through the steps where we get four addresses. And I'll show you how to do that. So now that we got this file downloaded nine times out of ten on Windows, it goes to your downloads folder. If you want to know how to do it on Linux or Ubuntu, that you're gonna have to follow the steps outlined in this wiki. Uh, I have not personally done it, but there are some knowledgeable people in the Discord if you need help. So focusing on Windows, we now got this jar file downloaded to our downloads. Let's go get it. So here it is. And what I like to do is because we're gonna to have to run a command to open this bad boy up. You just don't you don't just double click it, okay? So first thing I like to do is we gotta know the directory it's in to make your life a little bit easier. Just right click the file and go to properties. When you go to properties, you see the location right there. Highlight that, control C, copy. And then we need to open up a command prompt because the command right here needs to be ran, but we need to do it from command prompt. So CMD, right click, run as administrator. And then we need to change directory or CD. And then control V will paste that directory we just copied. Hit enter, and now we're in there. Now when we run this command, it's going to start the full node. This is gonna start syncing the blockchain on your computer. Now I already have a full node up and running, so I'm gonna be real quick about closing this out, but you just control V, don't even hit enter, just control V, and it automatically starts. Let me close that out, and then this window would just keep going and going and going. That means the node is syncing. It does take a while. A few weeks ago when I was letting the node sync, it basically, I went to sleep, woke up, it was done. But if you're impatient, you could just keep an eye on it, keep an eye on where the block numbers are, or you can use Swagger to help you sync up. So that's done, that's done with getting the full node up and running. We have it, it's syncing, it's going, we're good. Now we need to move on to the next step, which is use Swagger. Now Swagger will not work if the full node is not up and running, just be aware. So when you click this link, it takes us to a page similar to this, and I'm going to walk you through all the steps. Let me reset this real quick. I'm going to walk you through all the steps, and basically to see if the node is fully synced up, we scroll on down to infos, and then we look at get info, self-click, got this guy right here, and when we hit execute, we want to make sure that it says sync true right here. Now, let me show you real quick what it looks like if it's not synced, and there you go. It just says false next to sync. And then when it's fully synced, it just says true. And it's very simple. But anyways, you could just go ahead and hit execute. You will see that it says sync true. So we are fully synced. Our wallet's good to go. Or our node is good to go. Now we need to go get a wallet. So we scroll back up to the top. And under wallets, we go to slash wallets, get a new wallet. And a lot of people uh, forget this part, but usually it's on user. So this is the first thing you see uh, when you're brand new to the site and they forget about the drop down. In the guide, it does tell us that we need to go to the drop down that says minor without passphrase. So we're gonna select that, minor without passphrase. And in here, you could set up a password and you could even set up a name. So if we give it a name, like let's say uh, test two, because this is my second time going through this video. 
Uh, and if we hit execute, it's going to provide us a mnemonic phrase that we need to back up for this wallet and install a wallet. So boom, there we go, execute, we scroll down, there is our mnemonic phrase, we can download, we can copy, whatever it is, just make sure you have your 24 word seed phrase backed up so you, you can restore your wallet if need be. Now that you have your wallet um, set up, we need to go get your addresses. So now we're gonna minimize this, scroll on down to wallets, uh, bracket wallet name addresses. So here, we need to put in our name. Now test wallet is not the name of the wallet we just created, is it? When we hit backspace, that's what we're gonna see when we're fresh to this website. So we need to put in the name of our wallet. So test two. Now, when we hit execute, what we're gonna see is addresses down here. Now it doesn't normally show this, but for my previous test, you can see those addresses. So execute, here's our new addresses. We're gonna need all four. There's uh, the public key, the addresses, and the order, just to let you know, does matter. So you need to make sure you have these addresses backed up. Usually I just like to copy or download the entire thing, keep it somewhere safe and secure, maybe on a USB drive, not on a machine that you uh, frequent naughty sites, uh, just in case you get compromised. But basically back up the address. Uh, there's zero, which is one. Um, there's number two, there's number three, and there's number four. Now that we got our addresses safe and stored somewhere, now we can go ahead and start getting on the grind. So what are we gonna use to mine? Well, BZ Miner has been coming on the up and up. And just to let you know before we swap over and show you that, I wanna say that if you're doing this on Windows, make sure you're doing it on the machine itself that you're, you're running the full node on. Don't try to do it from a remote session because some people are getting issues. Like they're running it on their Ubuntu machine remote it in or controlling it from Windows. I don't know the full deal with this, but they were getting errors. So what I would say is there was some type of network failure, maybe it wasn't connected to the port because it is running off of your local uh, lo a local host. Um, that could have been the issue, I'm not exactly sure. But basically, just make sure you're doing it on a machine that you're physically at. You run the node, you get the node synced up, and then you come here to this page and get your wallet created, backed up, and your addresses. So anyways, we got our addresses up and running. I do want to read one more thing to you, um, is how to configure your minor addresses in the config. Because basically, now that the node is syncing everything, that's storing it somewhere. Now, most wallets store it in your user folder. On Windows, it's just C users, and in the name of the folder, just like it is right here, it's in C users, Alephinum. Now, we got the mainnet, which is our, our database or our blockchain sync, and then we have user config file. If you right click and edit this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see something similar to this. Now that's what I want you to use and I'll have it linked in the description, but originally you will see this right here. Key thing here, shout out to my buddy Yashnik that that you know pointed out the obvious to me because um, I completely missed it. So here it has four example addresses that you need to swap out for your four in order which you receive. So top one is one, second one is second, third, fourth, so on and so forth. But up here at the top, it says alephinum.network.external address equals, and then it says put your public IP here, otherwise remove this line. Now, I'm not messing with a public IP, but I am syncing the node to a local system or a local uh, machine on my network. And if you are gonna use a public address, there's some issues of, or things, not issues, just things you need to be aware of, uh, because by default, the API interface of Lefinum is bound to local host. Your API endpoints are secure. However, if you do configure what we're about to configure, lefinumapinetwork interface your endpoints might be exposed to the public network. This could, can be dangerous as anyone will be able to access your minor wallet. Please consider uh, configuring an API key following this guide. And then the, here's the full-on guide. But we're not using a public IP we're using a local network IP, and it's more than likely gonna be like a, a 192.168 or a 10.0. something, so you're, you should be fine. Um, however, if you wanna con configure that API, you're more than welcome to. So anyways, we're changing, and if you just wanna copy this, go ahead. You're changing what it originally said about an external network to alephinum.mining.api hyphen interface, and it's equal to, and then your local IP of the machine that has the full node. So whatever the IP is of this local machine. To find out what that IP is, you just type in CMD, and then you type in IP config, and then your config shows. You don't want the default gateway. 
you want the actual IPv4 address of your local machine that this node is on. Paste that in there and then of course replace the four addresses in order. Save that config and then you're good to go to actually start up your uh, you know, BZ miner. Now stock with BZ miner, uh, these are all the files you get, right? All the way from Raven up, these other three files I created myself. The default Lefinum file is right here, right click edit, and you can see everything we need. It's already got Metapool configured, a dev gen, all that stuff, but we wanna do solo mining. So if you wanna do solo mining, which is the point of this video, what I would recommend is to copy my setup uh, that I'm gonna show you right here, okay? So again, in, gonna be in the description down below, uh, BZ Miner, I raced everything on this original batch file. Uh, the algo is ALF, or the coin is ALF, and then dash W for wallet. And then I'm pasting all four addresses. However, on Windows, you do not need these commas. The commas are only for Hive OS. So for Windows, I can replace these commas. Just put a little space in between each one. Then dash P for the server. Don't forget the ALF in front of Stratum plus TCP. I believe when we're pool mining, we don't put the ALF. We just take that off. Uh, but for solo mining, ALF Stratum plus TCP colon slash slash. And then your, your IP of the machine that's running the full node colon port 10973. That's how you get started up and running on BZ Miner for Windows. For Hive, as you can see, um, if I switch back over to my main machine, it's sitting there mining away on this algorithm, on this currency right now. And how I set it up is what you see here in front of you, right? So you add, first you need to add a wallet. And when you add a wallet, you just choose the ticker ALF. And then you put the four addresses you have separated by a comma and a space, and that is it. Then you hit update, you switch over to flight sheet, um, you just choose the ticker ALF, then you choose your wallet, uh, then it will say, you know, pool, configure, and miner, and then you set up miner config, and then there you go. Just make sure you're putting in, again, the local IP, exactly as you saw it in this BZ miner, ALF stratum plus TCP, local IP, colon port number for the server, everything else. Make sure you're on BZ miner 7.1.3 or newer. The original ones were giving the various pools and solo miners some issues but that is how you get set up and started mining alephanum as solo the first part is only the hard part everything else is fairly simple um and it, and honestly this is this is so much easier than what it used to be back in the day but it does remind me of back in the day uh original old school mining so just make sure you're getting your wallet make sure you're noticing make sure that you're setting up your wallet don't forget to change to the correct one, we need minor without passphrase. Make sure you back up your mnemonic phrase. Make sure you you know securely add a password, give it a unique name, whatever it may be. And you can actually see if we go to the Alephinum folder that under Alephinum wallets, there's test two, test wallet. So I got all these wallets that I've been playing around with as testing, and those are all my solo wallets with my four addresses. Just make sure you back up everything, and you should be good to go. Um, if you have any questions, the Discord is very useful. For everybody or very very knowledgeable there's people in there trying to help out uh, i'm not always in there but i have been trying to help out during the opening stages of pool mining i won't be as available as we move forward so i wish you all the best of luck let us know if you have any questions down in the comments let us know if you have any insight down in the comments but that's going to do it for me today please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button don't forget to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out some of the links in the description that help support us and what we do here and you all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.